Hi, my name is Dr. Rudramon, and through the Oral Health Channel, we're going to be talking about sialidinitis. Let's start. So today I'm going to be talking about a salivary gland disorder known as sialadenitis. If we break this term down, sialadenitis, siala means salivary, adeno means gland, and itis means inflammation. That's right. This is the inflammation and acute or chronic inflammation of the salivary gland or the duct leading to a tender, painful swelling bilaterally symmetrical in the salivary glands, usually the parotid gland or the submandibular gland. So the signs and symptoms are very simple. The patient usually presents with a painful tender swelling which is bilateral on both sides and at the same time can present with prodromal symptoms such as fever, chills and myalgia at the same time headache. So sialadenitis can be either acute or chronic depending upon the onset and the duration. Sialadenitis generally is caused by either a bacterial or a viral infection or at the same time there is a restriction of the salivary flow rate from the uh, gland to the duct and thereby it causes bacterial stasis thereby making it susceptible making the you know the secretion susceptible to infection how do we manage this first of all we'll definitely take a you know history and everything and the best way to diagnose it is basically to do a culture we'll aspirate some of the saliva and take the aspirate of the gland as well and run it under a microscope to see what is the actual cause be it bacterial or viral and we will therefore identify the cause and treat it with help of antibiotics otherwise if it's a viral infection we'll probably let it take its course as it's self-limiting or at the same time give it some sort of symptomatic treatment or antiviral drugs if required. Also one of the causes of sialidinitis could be uh, the salivary flow rate being you know reduced because of either a salivary gland or duct stone which obstructs the duct and is known as sialolithiasis which we will cover in another episode and thereby you have to treat the cause and manage the patient symptomatically at the same time make sure that their salivary flow rate is maintained by either giving them silagogues and antibiotics and pain medications and make sure that they are taken care of so this was today's episode please like share and subscribe and do press the bell icon for important updates if you want to do a consultation or want to contact me here are my social media handles and my number please make sure that you don't call directly as i might be busy with a patient and just drop me a message so that we can have a talk have a nice day.